Obama's private jet just grounded after where he was caught trying to sneak into U.S. Now that we have your attention with a wonderful Obama conspiracy of him sneaking into America through Alaska, here's what's really happening. Former President Obama was on a recent trip to Asia and flew home. Flying home, to America, from Asia, usually requires people to land somewhere on America's west coast. This is totally normal. Obama landed in Alaska, presumably on a private flight, wearing a polo shirt and some pants, totally the outfit you wear when you're sneaking into a country. Then Obama took selfies with a baby and it went viral. Literally, everyone on the internet probably saw the picture and knew that Obama was in Alaska because that's exactly what people do when they sneak into the country, right? So let's just squash that rumor while we're ahead. Obama was not sneaking into the country. Since when is it considered sneaking into America when someone is a citizen here? That's called going home if you have half of a brain and at least a quarter of that half works. That's right, all it takes is one-eighth of a working brain to know the conspiracy theorists on this one audience. Going home is not sneaking in. If Obama wanted to sneak anywhere, he could probably do it. Let's not be liberally stupid change our genders, and think this is a sneak in. Mexicans sneak in because they don't live here. Obama flew in, went viral, and is flying home. Now that's not the truly big deal. The real story here, which many outlets are ignoring, and which many conspiracy theorists hit the nail in the head on, is this, Obama is meeting with Eric Holder and Nancy Pelosi to headline a fundraiser for the National Democratic Redistricting Committee, NDRC. People think the meeting will try to figure out ways that they can realign the political districts in hopes to benefit the Democratic Party so they can take back any districts they lost to Republicans. That's actually pretty normal. I'm quite certain that redistricting will be a goal any time you lose your districts to the opposite team. That's not even the real shimmery part of this shiny tin hat story. The real juice of the beef is that this meeting might extend beyond the talks of redistricting. This might really be the beginning of defeating Republicans in 2020. We don't know if Trump will run for re-election in 2020, but the Democrats need to do something to win. They failed miserably in 2016 and got crushed by right-wing enthusiasts who were sick of the whining, the political correctness, the lame protesting, the inability for people to know their gender, and the fact that most liberals are losers. People had enough of them in America fought back. Americans were tired of dealing with crybabies. This is Obama's first walk into politics since January and some theorists believe this is the start of the Democrats' plan to defeat Republicans and take down President Trump. Slim chance considering the left can't meme nor can they do anything remotely intelligent. Their ammo box is filled with crying, violent protesting, and getting offended by everything. Mix in a few gay dance parties if you really want to. Maybe it was secret and someone blew the lid off it. Did Trump expose the meeting? I'm not really sure, but it seems like most news outlets know about it. Like I said, don't fall for the OMG Obama is having secret meetings when the meetings are talked about by mainstream news. Sources state that Obama will headline a fundraiser for the NDRC, which is the National Democratic Redistricting Committee. He's meeting Holder and Nancy Pelosi perhaps to talk about the NDRC, or maybe even other things. This meeting is set to take place in Washington, D.C. This is also Obama's first waltz back into politics since about January, 2017. He clearly had a good few months off, now he's jumping back into politics, possibly to get a three-year head start on helping Democrats regain control of the White House in 2020. Yeah, no chance for that. We're going to vote like there's no tomorrow to make sure liberals don't ruin the country any further. Eric Holder, Nancy Pelosi, and Barack Obama are only missing their fellow dingbats, Maxine Waters and Hillary Clinton. Maybe if Hillary Clinton wasn't busy selling nasty woman t-shirts on Twitter, then she would have time to go to the meeting. Or maybe she wasn't invited. She lost once, so why would Democrats want her back? Low blow? Maybe but selling or promoting t-shirts for Samantha B or Planned Parenthood kind of warrants a silly low blow joke. A blow joke.